Hello friends, today I'm gonna do my own take on a classic Japanese street food, yakisoba pan. So to start, we're gonna want to thinly slice some chicken breast. You want it to be as thin as you can. And then we're gonna want some vegetables. We can use bell pepper and cabbage. Cabbage of any kind works. Now for the noodles themselves, I couldn't find any actual yakisoba noodles, so I got these stir-fried noodles, but any noodles will work fine. And for these specific noodles, we'll want to boil them in hot water and then separate the noodle cakes. Now we're going to want to add some ginger. Here I put it in vinegar and red food coloring. This is traditional in Japan. Then we're going to want to grease the pan with oil and then put the noodles on there and stir fry them a little to add some more tangy flavor. Then we're going to want to remove the noodles and then put some chicken on there. The uh, chicken that we cut earlier. And here you want them to be thin. We couldn't cut them that thin, so we're going to cook them a, a little while longer by adding some water and putting the cover on top. While we wait for the chicken, we're going to want to get the hot dog buns, and then we can butter them up for some extra flavor. We're going to want to add some chili flakes onto the chicken. And then we're going to want to add the vegetables that we cut earlier. Stir it around. And then we're going to want to steam the vegetables and the noodles, so we're going to want to add some hot sauce, some Worcestershire sauce, and some salt and pepper, and then when it's done, it'll look this good. And then we can just put it in the hot dog buns like that, and now you got yourself some yakisoba pan. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed.